So we're going to determine the absolute minimum of this function on the closed interval. So because it's a closed interval, the best way to do this is to do it with the candidates test. So the candidates test works because there's only certain places that a min or max can occur on a closed interval, and that's the endpoints of the interval and any critical numbers within the interval. So if you just evaluate the function at those points, the highest number will be the maximum and the lowest number will be a minimum. So first we're gonna find the critical numbers. The critical numbers are where the derivative, six x squared plus six x minus 12 equals zero. Hopefully this factors, uh, factor out of six. Factors of negative two that add up to positive one are positive two and negative one, so this factors nicely. So our critical numbers, two places that a absolute min or max can occur are x equals negative two and x equals one. So now we have actually four candidates, the two critical numbers and the two endpoints, negative four and two. Um, make sure that the critical numbers are in the within the endpoints, negative four or two, because if they're not, then they're not candidates anymore. You don't have to worry about them. So here comes the candidates test. The candidates test. is you just take the left endpoint of the interval and find the value. So that would be f of negative four. That's the left. Then in order, I like to go the critical numbers f of negative two, f of one. And then finally, we get to the right endpoint, which is two. And now we plug those into the original function because we're trying to figure out where this is hot, greatest and where that's least. So when you plug negative four, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into the um, y. Hold on, I think I had that. So I can show you. Um, there's the function. So you just plug it in for x, but the quick way to do it is second count value at negative four. So when I plug negative four in that function, I will get negative 31. And then you just do the same thing for the other three numbers. So here it goes, negative two, one, and two. Negative two is 21. One is negative six. So 21, negative six. And finally, F of two, two, enter, is five. So that's all the possibilities for a min or max. So the greatest number is the highest it gets on that interval. So the max is 21, the absolute max. And the minimum is at the left end point, which is negative 31. So that's basically how you do all absolute min max questions. It's pretty easy. Just follow the candidates test and you should be okay. And that is all I got. See you next time.